Um, we visited an area in uh, Germany called Emscher Park earlier in the year. Um, this is a project um, where they've been really successful at developing the uh, green infrastructure, different sites linked together, um, and they've done some quite innovative stuff with um, old industrial structures um, and with some of the landscapes there. Um, they've used design competitions a lot, um, if they've built a new bridge or they've created a new park, they've used design competitions to get you know, really great designers from across the world involved and we were quite inspired by this. Um, and now we're working on a site um, near the M1, uh, around the cooling towers. Um, it's a brownfield site and we're going to run a competition to look at uses for that site. I work for the competitions office, which is part of the Royal Institute of British Architects, who act to promote excellence in architecture. Our involvement in uh, this process is Gramwork Sheffield have brought us on board to manage the competition process for them. Lots of clients and stakeholders use competitions as a means of promoting regeneration and in particular attracting publicity for areas to see them uh, redeveloped. Um, it does have some tricky issues, it's quite difficult to access, um, part of the site lies in the floodplain. Um, but it also has some real opportunities. There's uh, the river and the canal. Um, you know, there's already some quite nice landscape there. Um, so there's an opportunity to create some green space, but there's also a bit of a, a problem that needs to be solved to work out kind of how the site can be commercially developed. It's a fantastic opportunity. It's obviously a, a difficult site, um, and there are lots of challenges which the both architects, landscape architects, and urban designers need to face. Um, but it's got a fascinating backdrop with, with the viaduct and um, we look forward to what, what, what people produce. Yeah, my name is Mark Maisy, I'm E.ON UK's property manager. I've been responsible for Blackburn Meadows for approximately 15 years. The first I saw of the site was when I was at college in the early 80s and I could see the cooling towers from my uh, kitchen windows at the time. We hoped to start some sort of reclamation process on, on the site to try and remove the Sort of structures that are left in the ground following the demolition of the three previous power stations that were on the site. Um, there are cold measures under the site which we might look to try and get out as part of that so once they're out of the way they're, they've gone. Reclaim the site back to a level site ready for some sort of commercial development um, bearing in mind the sensitivities of the site and the context within which it sits. We've got a nice bit of river frontage or canal frontage at the far end it is a case of how can you mix and make best advantage of the commercial benefits from redeveloping the site to put something back into the landscape for the people of Tinsley. This is going to be an, uh, an international open ideas competition and will be open to architects, landscape architects, urban designers etc from around the world and we'll certainly uh, be expecting um, a global response. Um, teams will be asked to submit uh, design submissions on A1 boards and from that, those uh, entries, six will then be shortlisted as finalists. They will then be invited to interview um, to present their ideas to the jury panel and from that, three prize winners will be selected. It's quite exciting for us because um, we've never done a design competition before and you know, it's quite a, a bold step for groundwork. Um, so we're really proud of what we're doing and we're quite excited as well because it's going to be an international competition so you know, we're really hoping for some fresh ideas um, and maybe ideas that we can use in other areas of the Lower Don Valley for, for other projects. Um, so uh, it should be good.